<laughs> Alright, we got fucking Lance here today with the Jenny. Zeus is in a mood today. I don't know. Zeus is just doesn't tell me what he wants. But he's like hunting something. We got the Jenny today. Oh yeah. Look at this. We gotta put this. He's got a massive straight pipe, but we're gonna switch to the muffler setup because he wants to rumble. This ice all right exhaust, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, this thing is friggin' nice, so we gotta get this in. Apparently some bolts have been pretty stubborn, so we're gonna jack it up and look at Lance. <laughs> <laughs> but we're also putting some digital gauges in. It's gonna be sick. We got a Y-band setup to put in. I don't know how to open this hood, but uh, here we go. <laughs> It's really warm. The four straight turbo two liter setup on the old Jennies. These bad boys are fast. Don't be sleeping on them. Pretty wicked. I'm gonna get that set up, get her jacked up. Man, man, I just can't get over this car. Here was, so the backstory. Do you wanna tell them the backstory? Here you go. Here, go ahead and tell them the backstory. Which Today backstory? The regret that you hold against me. Okay, so the reason why I bought this car was because Peyton told me to. We were at the dealership and I was looking at this Honda S2K that I really wanted, you know, six grand cheaper, but you know, money doesn't matter, I guess. And we took this for a test drive and I really loved it. So we went back a week later and I ended up buying the car. And uh, every time I see an S2K now, I, uh, I tell Peyton I'm really upset with him. <clears throat> I'm not joking, every fucking time I see an S2K, even on Instagram, which is every day. But it's fine. We're gonna get it set up, it's dope. We gotta get it running right, and the headlights, you know, we just got a couple things to fix out. Cause this dude's going to Italy, and he's taking it, so we gotta get it set up for the old customs check. Who knows if it's gonna pass. It's pretty, it's pretty good. we'll see. <laughs> We're gonna get to it though. We out here, uh, if you guys are wondering, you got a Jenny yourself and you're trying to figure this out. You got like multiple ports in here. There's one here, 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 here. And all these just pull out. Got these fancy clips in here. So they just pull out, don't be afraid. You know, you might think you're gonna break it. You might, sometimes we do. That's besides the point. But it's all clips. Don't worry about no screws. Just get to pulling. And then you got, you know, your basic push tab, harnesses. This is aftermarket radio stuff. Don't worry about that. Don't have to worry about that. Here's the gauges that we're replacing. Put some digital ones in. We'll see how it goes. Got the whole gauges out already. This dude's on like hyperspeed mode or something. It just worked out. So they're just a couple Phillips. And then we got the new gauges. They don't read anything, so I think they're broken. Um, <laughs> but apparently they're a little bit bigger. Oh, they're gonna fit perfect. This dude's on drugs or oh. something. He's like, we gotta cock it in. It's gonna be fine. We're gonna mount it up. It's gonna be perfect. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He's crazy. Yeah, Come with the hardware in there. We're gonna figure it out. But we got a bunch of them. Fancy gauges, and then this big one's probably the Y band. Indeed. Comes with your plug in setup, monitor them, uh, air fuel ratios, you know. You need to know that while you're racing these race cars around Italy, you know.
one is complete. We got the gauges in. They're symmetrical and mounted. If you gauge set up and want to set them up like we did in the car in the factory, well, kind of factory. This is for aftermarket head unit, but um, yeah, you just squeeze them in there. Make sure it's against the plastic, and then carefully adjust them how you want and tighten them down. You can you you only have to do like finger tight, cause you don't want to pull them all the way through because they're a little different size. If you can see right here, it's sitting on the crease, but this one is completely encircled because the center hole is smaller than the outside, but it's fine. It looks minty bent. And then uh, we got everything laid out. So we got our oil pressure instructions and just a little bit of wiring. And then the Y band has like 50 wires. So we're going to get there. And then the boost gauge. Boost gauge you just run some stuff. The only reason they have so many wires is because they got so many colors we can do. So two. So many, two colors. <laughs> How do you feel about this? Feel great. <laughs> it's gonna go well, we're gonna get to it. It's basic. Remember when you're doing electrical, take the battery out first. Yeah, guy. <laughs> Trying to let me do electrical with the battery in, what a crazy animal. And uh, then, yeah, we're doing the O2 sensor right now. We've got the Y band in, and we just gotta wire it up figure out where to run it through the firewall and then figure out where to put all the wires you think there's instructions that are very vague so we got it all right we're making a damn mess that's how uh, the wiring goes but we're running out of power and we're gonna put a ground in right in the accessory to the fuse box under a cigarette lighter fuse so it has power when you turn the key Man, we gotta wire all the gauges together. Here's the power wire. Gotta use that heat shrink, make it look good. Ran it through the firewall, little stock harness things we got. But we're taking a uh, Mickey D's break. And water. Yeah, he's drinking water. But, <laughs> gotta, uh, you gotta eat, you know? Remember to eat, cause I always forget, but. We got a lot to go. I mean, a uh, little bit to go. <laughs> Still gotta do the exhaust. We're gonna fucking kill it though. All right, so the car's running. I kind of skipped out a lot because, I mean, not really, but I just put a ground in, put the oil temp in, put a ground power, ran a power wire to the gauge. And then we tucked everything up under here, ran it through the dash. Um, right now it's kind of everywhere, but I'm gonna clean it up, but power ground accessory this is the wide band setup and then obviously all the wires in the back of the gauges the gauges are reading oil temps obviously low we just started it negative boost because it's a tuner the wide band fuel ratio is actually working because i mean that's we totally knew it was going to we didn't have any guesses <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's on fire, so that's the best part. When you do wiring and you start it up and then everything is like not on fire. And the boost gauge set up. Wired it into here is the T. Line goes through the firewall again. There's our accessory power. How's it feel? Feels great. Yeah, it worked so far. I mean, who knows when we, you know, push it, but... What? No, it stays unplugged. Alright, so it's back in place. They look pretty nice. Left this open, so like we got all this extra wire we tucked up in here. Put a little corridor on it. You may look better. You gotta use hit shrink. So, uh, yes, yeah, sir. Send it. Very nice. Hey, they came back on. Sweet. Can't see with the camera. Works. They're sweating though. They look good. 
good. Yeah, good enough. I'm just kidding, they're perfect. Hmm. Good thing it's not a struggle. Good thing it's not a struggle. Uh, big guy's gotta work tomorrow, so he's gonna head out. <clears throat> we're gonna... We're wrapping this up, we're gonna clean out, but... It's completely done. The gauges, that is. Y bands in there. The oil temp in the boost. It's a sick boost gauge. But uh and they're digital, so that's cool. The next time we'll fucking get this huge exhaust off. Put the nice one on. Boop, boop. But for now that's it. We're gonna head out. And uh I'm gonna go drink here, but that's beside the point. Okay, bye.